Well, new at 11 forced out dozens who live in the Pan American Mobile Home Park say they got notices on their front doors today that the property has been sold and they have just a few months to move out. NBC 6's Kim Wynn is live in Fort Lauderdale with more on all of this. Kim. Yeah, well, that's right. People who live here say that they were completely shocked when they saw their those notices on their front doors earlier today. Some say that they have spent tens of thousands of dollars repairing their homes and now they have to up and leave. Our community is frustrated with everything that's going on. She Maria Bermudez is one of dozens of residents who doesn't know where she's going to live in the next few months. And it's not going to be easy just to find a home from one day to another. She says she just bought this mobile home for $35,000 at the Pan American Mobile Home Park in Fort Lauderdale. She says she spent more than $20,000 fixing it up and has been staying with friends, hoping to move in in November with her husband and two kids. Kids. But on Monday, she and other residents got this notice on their front doors. It's not fair. The notice says the mobile home park was sold to another company, meaning Bermudez and other residents are being evicted and have to be gone by April 22nd. The mother says all the money she spent on repairs is now down the drain. We bought our mobile home for 35000 and we haven't lived there. We've been home to home. I have to get up and grab all my stuff and find somewhere else. I have to start from scratch. According to the letter, residents have to be out by April, but will be offered money to leave early if they qualify. Those who relocate or abandon their homes by December will receive between nine and $14,000. The company that bought the land, the Urban Group, sent this statement, which reads in part, residents were provided a six months notice to vacate the property consistent with Florida statute. Further, ownership is offering a generous incentive package far exceeding the statutory minimums to assist residents in their relocation efforts. Bermudez and Christian Medina, who spent tens of thousands of dollars repairing their homes, say that's not enough. It's not going to be enough for a down payment for an apartment or for a house. They also say most residents probably won't relocate their trailers because it's too expensive. Gas, getting it hooked up, plumbing is expensive, electricity is expensive. Half of these people here can't afford to grab the trailers and leave. And the company buying the land says that they also plan on meeting with residents one on one to help them with the transition. For now, we're reporting live from Fort Lauderdale. Kim Wynn, NBC6 News.